Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm excited to announce a new addition to the Bear Chills vlogging range. The one where I'll be traveling on to go do like sort of camping and general ride outs. And here we have it. The all new Sinisterrain T125. Obviously by a, uh, a company called Sinis in Brighton. It's a Chinese bike and it's the only 125 adventure style range available in the 125 market. This is the liquid cool version. There's an older model of this which is a hair cooled. So it has got a radiator fan. We've got all protection underneath. Nice big tyres. Trash bar standard. It's got the panniers. You can change this top box for a bigger litre one, what will fit a, an helmet in, which I'll be doing. And they're the longitude and latitude of Sinis headquarters, what's printed on the tank. Really, really nice bike for the money. Can put, uh, if you've got a full bike license, you can put a, a passenger on. Cushion there for the passenger. A nice dash which lights up blue or orange. Your fuel gauge, uh, your RPMs, your gear. And yeah, I'm just breaking it in now, it's only done 183 miles. I think 600 miles. Get it serviced. And yeah, just keep breaking it in nicely. So, I'll be like I said, I'll be using this for my radios. Sort of activations, getting out and about on adventures. While camping. Ride outs. Can do some modifications on it if I need to. Put a nice aerial there, yeah, and get out. I have uh, done some mods already, I put an alarm on it, a data tool. I've done some heated grips. Also, hand guards, which is, like you see, on terrain like this, is ideal to protect your, obviously, your hands. It's just a really nice, honestly, looking bike. And it looks a lot bigger than a 125. People are surprised when I tell them. It's got night exhaust because, like I said, it's an adventure bike. If you're going through puddles and stuff. So I'm not claiming to be a biker or enthusiast or claiming to know anything about bikes. I absolutely know nothing apart from get up and get on it and go. I've got the LS2 helmet, which is a really nice helmet to be fair, um, with the GX8 Bluetooth, so I can connect it to my phone for Calimoto and other riders, they'll be coming out with me. It has got the sun visor inside as well, I'll just lift it up, yep, in there, so nice on a sunless day like it is today. So we're in the panny at the moment. We've got the Van Gogh tarp. If I needed it. Got some water. Got my, got my stove. The Coleman. The panny is all lockable as well, which uses the same key as ignition. Got my technicals travel towel, my filter, which is ideal for the rivers as well. There, mess tin. And today, I'll be heating and reviewing 
the steak and vegetables by Wayfarer standard go outdoor stuff and the solid caramel brownie for dessert absolutely fantastic day what a day to be out on the bike a little day trip CQ, 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 this is Mike 7 Lima Lima Alpha, M7 LLA Stroke Parvel calling CQ, 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 standing by for any calls in two meters. That should be done now. for a couple of minutes steak and vegetables it's got big glumps of tea in it some carrots, peas gravy and the odd chunks of steak <coughs> mainly for winter I'd say this but I had it already in my storage so I thought I'd bring it out the only one I had need to repack for the summer one this was the last of the winter so you just like your normal beef stew really and again for the colder winter months this is really nice or even now I suppose nice and filling cheers guys Now for the salted caramel chocolate brownie. I'm not really a fan of a dessert. I know my gut says otherwise, but honestly, this is the first one I've had in the, like, the trail range and the May Waverers. So, let's see if it'll be the last one, eh? Let's give it a taste. Skeen shot. Just like, it's really sweet chocolate as you expected. Just crunched up really. Main thing it gives you calories, it gives you energy to keep going. But yeah, it is nice. Complements the, the dinner side of stuff. I had about three mouthfuls of that and no more for me. Really sweet, really sickly. Really treacly. Yeah, I think three mouthfuls for me is enough. I suppose if you're a, a dessert person, it's yeah, it's nice. And easy. Like you said, it, it is what it is. It gives you energy. But I'm afraid just for a couple of mouthfuls for me is just enough. Ed, I was looking at the ATV. I was looking at electric bikes. Literally researching everything. And they all had the pros and they all had the cons and the old 125 for what I need carrying stuff getting about it's absolutely perfect um, 
yeah some people go you know because i have got a, um, a car license and some people would say well why are you just going your car and those people who go walk up summits will do sorters while camping honestly parking a car up country lanes is so it's really really bad i mean it's that's one of me bugbears really um with your car with this the old sinister terrain it'll go up little tracks even smaller than this one what i'm in now you can just pull up side of this river as well like here and it'll go where cars car and just camp up I'm not saying I'm going to use it every time because I like to get out, get miles up a summit, miles and get in the middle of nowhere and just adventure everything. So guys, I hope you like the video. Just really an introduction of the, the old bike and you'll see it in further videos. Hopefully now, summer's here, got a lot more time on my hands. You'll see a lot more videos. Please like and subscribe. Cheers guys, see you on the next one.